about taking some style tips from children who are not even yet in preschool. But there's a growing army of small fry fashionistas out there with millions of Instagram followers among them. They're known as Instakids, and they're having a sweeping impact on the fabric of social media. Here's ABC's Rena Knighton. So what I would wear is this with my Converse. So this is a yes. This is a yes. Little Haley talks style like an advanced fashionista. What I like about this is it could go with this. This is so nice. This is perfect. To say she's obsessed with fashion is an understatement. Haley Vasquez is an Instagram model. Her page, Hale's World, has over 123,000 followers. This is also Dolce Gabbana. This is Dolce Gabbana? Wow. Now, how does it feel to wear these super luxury high-end designers when you're only six? It's really fun. I like wearing cool clothes mm -hmm. because kids in my school say, I love your outfit. Haley is just one of many tiny trendsetters, pages filled with children wearing the latest fashions, like four-year-old Ryan Secret with his signature faux hawk smiling for 119,000 followers, and six-year-old Gavin giving his best blue steel look to his over 200,000 followers. Behind the kids are the parents, fueling their Instagram stardom. Haley's mom, Zule, says her first post was when Haley was just three. First picture was like, it literally like broke the internet. And that Instagram fame catapulted Haley onto the runway. And for some kids, that can mean big money. For some parents, it's just posting cute photos of their child. But for others, there's another goal. It's getting exposure. It's setting their kids up for modeling or acting careers. What happens with all of the jobs that she gets? Where does the money go? The money, 15% of it has to go to her trust fund, but the money actually goes into her savings account. So I'll just put it there and let it grow. So if she decides at some point that she no longer wants to pursue this, you know, she wants to go to MIT or Harvard, she has the funds to pay for that. What do you say to critics that say you're just capitalizing on your daughter's good looks? For us, this is a hobby. You know, she just happens to get paid for it. So I feel like it builds her up for the future. You know, her confidence. She looks at herself and she says, wow, I'm beautiful. What do you want people to know about your Instagram account? I want them to know that I'm really fun and I love pictures, fashion shows. When you grow up, what do you want to be? A fashion designer, just like Carl. Carl Lagerfeld, is that who it is? Yep. He's an icon fashion designer. He works for Fendi and Chanel. He's really fashionable, and I am too. And we were there as Haley sashayed down the runway in New York's Fashion Week, joined by other pint-sized prodigies taking the fashion world by storm. After the show, she gave me a lesson in fashion. Now tell me what you're wearing. It's very stylish. What I am wearing is Gucci. Whoa! I'm wearing J. Crew. J. Crew? Where the jeans come from? The jeans are not, they weren't supposed to see them. I was so cold, so I put them on. It's, I'm not trying to make a fashion statement. Uh -huh. It's because it was 10 degrees in New York today. I was hoping nobody would notice. It's probably a bad choice for a fashion show, huh? Yeah, you should probably wear like shorts. But the free world of social media stardom can come with a price, potentially exposing kids to dangers, raising questions about privacy and oversharing. You know, if you have 100,000 followers, parents have to ask themselves, are all of these people good intentioned? People can develop a scary obsession with your child. Zule says that she's taken protective measures to keep her daughter safe, posting only a few times a week and never tagging their location while they're still there. I make sure that she knows that if people come up to her, she knows and she's aware that, hey, this person is not my friend. Now, if she were to say to you today, Mom, I want to be a soccer player. I don't want to work in fashion anymore. I would say, okay, then that's fantastic. And I will go on Google and find her the best soccer school. Because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to do what makes her happy. More than 2,500 miles away yeah. in Yuma, Arizona, like a another trendy <laughs> tot, L. Kiss. That dress. That's a pretty dress. At just three years old, 
She has over 89,000 followers on Instagram. Think about it. That's 2,500 followers for every month she's been alive. That's a good smile. I started posting pictures of Elle maybe when she was four or five months. It's been two years later and I'm still, I'm still in shock. <laughs> she says that the response online has not always been positive. There's been a few comments like, let kids be kids. And I mean, I think it's because they think I dress her up that she's not a normal kid, but she is. She plays in her clothes, she goes to school in them. Mom Linda works as a dentist. Fitting to note, she also runs a children's boutique, the House of Posh Tots. And I've been offered money, but then to me it doesn't seem organic anymore. So I will take the merchandise and style it any way that I like, but I don't really want to get paid. This is fun, and I have two jobs. I don't want to have a third one. Back at home in New York, six-year-old Haley shows us that she can flex a few other muscles. What's your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school is math. Really? Are you good in math? Really good. What is two plus one? Three. Wow. She approaches her school wardrobe with just as much pizzazz. I'm warning you, I have a lot of clothes. I have jackets, I have um, capes, leathers, raincoats. And if you had to pick one item, what's your favorite item right now? Well, I have a lot of favorite items. So first here, it would be this one. That one's Burberry. When people see Haley's pictures, what do you hope they walk away with? I would hope that people would just see her for who she is, an amazing person. One, two, three, yeah. <laughs> Think you're Beyonce? For Nightline, I'm Rena Ninen in New York.